Ahoy, 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 tricky luggers. Again, it's like <laughs> deja vu for us. Well, for us. we thought we were live. We well, saw. we were, but it wasn't going out. It said we were live, but we also lost power, like, right before. Oh, thanks, Yay, Donnie. Donnie. Thanks, thanks so following. much. Um, yeah, so there we go. So welcome. I'm glad you all found us. We'll have a few minutes when, you know, as people are catching up. But we have a super exciting show today with, we told you a moment ago, out to you know, the void rather than to all of you wonderful people, um, <laughs> that we have more entries for this challenge than anyone we've had so far. We have. We had 42 entries for this yep. challenge, which is actually, I think, more than that, 43 or 44, which is like breaks our record from the Rebrick challenge, which was, uh, I think, 40. Yeah. And Flynn and I both have date. builds that we can't wait to share with you, but we're going to hold those for the end. Yeah. So if we add ours, I, I think that actually makes it 45. Oh my goodness. Awesome. And I've got hiccups. Wow, this is turning out and to be hiccups. a day. <laughs> hey, Flynn. Yes. Boo! Uh, Did that work? Mm, we'll see. He's not scared of me. So, anyway, hope you are all doing well. Hope you're having an excellent Friday. Uh, let's see. Oh, what Kim, we got? don't feel bad for not building. Oh, you should Just never feel enjoy bad. enjoy other people's stuff. Yeah, have you seen how many times we aren't able to build? Oh, Believe me. Like There's a million it's reasons. totally okay. So I just want to make sure that we give a minute for everybody to catch up. Thanks for, um, I'm not quite sure what happened there. That was weird. Yeah. And, and and I think yeah. we're not on Facebook. We think maybe Facebook had some weirdness going on there. Yeah, you know, Facebook is weird. I gotta say that. But you know, in the, um, midst, of, in the midst of all of it, we had a visitation. Oh, a, a visitation. <laughs> Thunderman was here and he saved the day. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it was weird. It's a weird thing. I think it's Facebook. I think it's it's Facebook. So uh, Orson, I did see that you mentioned viewer mail once already, and yep. we do not have viewer mail today. Um, as I mentioned before, we uh, wait until we like. I knew that there was a bunch of packages coming, yeah. and now there's four coming. They're all at the post office, so we're going tomorrow morning to pick everything up. Yeah, we barely we ever it. go outside except occasionally to shop and to walk the dog. So we make it to the post office about once a week, right? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. The, the there's something wrong with the Facebook stream. I don't I know, know what's going I, on. I wish it was working, but we're so yeah. glad to be here on YouTube today. Yeah. So here we are. Figure it all out. So, anywho, uh, here we what are. What do we have? And How about some Disney got, pins? I'm a little, yeah, I'm a little blown off course here. I gotta kind of get my way back into. Look right. at that! I'm making a <laughs> bling in the camera this morning. A uh, hooded Boy. one. I think that your package arrived. Like I said, there was four coming yep. from like all different places, doing from different places all over. So. I hope so. Can't wait to see them. Um, we did get we get notifications though, right? Uh, yes, yes, we do. Hey, Noob Master sixty nine is here. Hey, Yay. welcome back. I haven't seen you in a little while. Very good. Well, um, today I'm featuring a hidden Mickey pin. I have no idea what it's for. It feels kind of California adventure to me. Um, oh. Are we on autofocus? We are. Oh, hooray. Look at that. Very Wolf good. Wolf howling at the moon. Uh, okay, let's see. And this is our, our my, I'm wearing this Mickey Yay. pin, sort of like black and red. That's kind of exactly what my face looked like when we figured out we weren't actually like streaming. <laughs> so it's kind of appropriate, I guess. And is that the font from the original Mickey Mouse Club? Uh, it looks kind of like, looks right? like it. Yeah, that old school one. So, Super old. Hey, you know what? Let's see. Is that, um, I'm going to move this over. Let's see if... Um, oh, my goodness. I know. Yeah. Chaos. All right. Must accept. Hey, and Johnny properly. Cat's here. Actually, we're just about to say hi to everybody who's over in the chat. Let's see what we got here. All right. So, Albert Lee is here. Apples. Apples. Aquamite TV is back. Big Screen Bird. Brick fella, thanks for uh, turning in some cool photos. Brickanista yep, is here. Hi Naomi. Uh, Brickworm. Uh, Chris deep, deep fried, fried Mars bar chalice. You sassanac. I know what that is. <laughs> um, Cornado. Yes, I do. I watch. Um, Wait, uh, is that from Outlander? Well, it's not from Outlander, but they use it a lot on Outlander. Doesn't, yeah, doesn't that's what he they call her. her. He calls her like. Yes. So. Anyway. Wow. Um, uh, Cornado is here. Donnie A. Bear. Hey, Donnie. Actually, oh, yeah, we've got some fun news. Uh, oh, to do yeah. With Donnie. My mom is here. Hi, mom. Hi, Elise. Um, have you fan MKE? 
hooded one, insane Legos fan, Jay Stevermeyer, that's yep. uh, Jeremy from our lug, John Luttrell, Johnny, Johnny Pat, Pat. Yeah, hi Johnny, Yano, River Yano is here, I know you have to leave early, Yano, I'm sorry, but I'm glad you were able to join us, uh, Marilyn, Marilyn Carmley, uh, Minifig Chick and Moto are all here, all the M's are here, Moto. and Mr. Elmo Man, Underman was here, yeah, briefly, yes. Uh, Mr. Elmo Man, Noob Master 69, Raptus, Raptus of Dathomir. Hello. Uh, Remy Baker, Rob Hendricks. Hey, hey Rob. Rob. How's it going? Uh, Robert Zaccardi. Hey there. Uh, Shane Levan, Steve, Steve Parmley, Parmley, the Hornburgers. Uh, uh, that's us, Tricky Bricks. Yep. <laughs> Wild Orson is here. Wilfred, Bonsoir, uh, Zach Martinez, and Zarakino. So welcome, welcome everybody. I'm glad you found our other stream. Um, no, my goodness, it's like it's an adventure. It's a treasure hunt. Can you find Tricky Bricks? Yes. And are we oh, so Aqua Mike TV? Are you gonna announce your next build challenge today? Yes, we always announce them at the end of the slideshow. Yep. Um, it's so going to be at the be... end for sure. Yeah, it'll be at the end. It'll be because sure... we have it all totally figured out, a hundred percent. All right. But we have a lot of slides between now and then. We do and have look, a lot. Look, we have Flynn got a swap box, and they sent us Smarties. Look at that. Oh yeah. So he... I I am um, I did this online, and I was actually thinking this would be um, this would be super fun to around do the holidays, around the right? holidays, like here in Tricky Lug, depending on how it goes. So there's this program called Elfster, and you can go online, and it like sets up sort of a Secret Santa thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, um, sort of Lego um, based. Right? Yeah. For so us. it's a, for us for us it's Lego based. So, yeah. Well, Chris, actually, Smarties are different. Smarties are different than in the U.S. than they are in the U.K. In the I UK, bet they're better in the U.K. Well, U.K. Smarties are more like our M&Ms. Oh, and in the U.S., yeah. Smarties are these sort of like sour, chalky. chalky candy, like about two steps above a Necco wafer. Yeah, almost like a, a Valentine's heart, but tart. Right. So they... So they um, so we do we do these swap boxes, and each person gets. I think there's like you know there's like a, a limit, and then you send the person some Lego that they're interested in, and then some candy and little yeah. thingies around. It's, well, everyone um, says what kind. Of, like cool. Flynn says he's into creepy stuff and colorful things. So, mine arrived yesterday, and I'm super excited because this was. <laughs> This was one of those sets where I would have never bought it for myself, but I wanted it really bad. Mm. Um, and it is the um, Elsa's Jewelry Box creation. I mean, how could you not want this? It has a blue, trans blue horse, okay? Yeah, and look at, <laughs> look at all those Elsa blue pieces. And if you look on the back, it has functions, too. The horse <laughs> rotates. Yeah, you know, like it's all geared. Yeah, so I can't wait, and I think I think Ms. Thing and Angela will be very be yeah. very happy. Well, I, right? you know what this would go great with is the Sparkle and Shine Salon. It would. It's a, right? Yeah, my only and I know it's because it's supposed to be a water horse, but my only like sadness about it is why isn't there any glitter? I know he said that yesterday. I said, Flynn, are you seriously? Are you seriously expressing concern that your translucent blue horse doesn't have glitter? And he said, have you ever met me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but so, still, I am super psyched for yeah, this. So, so we're going to add you, friendly swap boxer, for that yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's nifty. It's, and, and on, um, actually, that makes um, a not awkward at all transition to our discussion about our 100th episode. What's going to special happen <laughs> oh, there? Oh my goodness, everybody. Okay, so our 100th episode Go is coming episode. up. Our, our 100th episode is coming up on Sunday, and we have got, man, okay, so originally, we were just planning on giving away a Tricky Bricks mystery box. Yep. Okay. And we then, had a couple of surprises. And, yeah, and then we were like, okay, well, actually, why don't we do three? We'll do yeah, three But we weren't going to tell anyone, right? We were like, wait, this is so fun. Let's do two more. Well, since then, <laughs> since then, we have got Moto is contributing a gift box. Uh, Minifig Chick is contributing a gift box. Crystal and Amy are contributing a gift box. These people, and, oh my goodness. Um, the amazing Donnie A. Bear, um, who is here, has an awesome uh, uh, Bricklink site, and he has offered two 
$50 gift certificates to his BrickLink store also as a giveaway. It's crazy so, Lego day. Yeah, so we are going to be um, we are going to be giving away prizes all throughout the um, of the show, and we also got some mm-hmm. special guests coming by on some surprises. And I'm really I'm very excited. Look for at Sunday. that! It's like it's like our turkey lug birthday, and everyone else gets <laughs> presents. I know it's awesome. that's awesome. <laughs> so it'll be a fun episode, just super like. Lots of kookiness. Yeah, I think it's gonna be. Um, I think it's gonna be really a really really fun yep. time. And, and we'll have guests like normal, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Oh, and in fact, in fact, I'm hoping that Mini Fig Chick and Moto and Crystal and Amy can come on and talk about their cool things. Oh, that they they're will. Putting together. Yeah, they will. They'll be guests. Ours are mystery boxes. But Who knows what that is? <laughs> we know. don't. <laughs> I'm kidding. We do, actually. We have some um, ideas. Aqua Mike TV, do we like Marvel? I am a huge Marvel fan from yep. way back. Me too. Um, mostly I'm, in the X-Men area of I'm things. about even Marvel and DC. Please, no flame war. Yeah, <laughs> I like some DC and some Marvel. But I haven't gone into the deep dive of all of the Marvel interwoven stories. I just like some of the characters. <laughs> Because that's a deep dive, right? You've watched a whole show just about that. I did. It's true. Are you talking? Wait, are you talking about Miles that, and Jay? Miles oh, it's and a podcast. Jay's podcast. Yeah. We've probably mentioned it before, but if you're into Marvel, <laughs> how do they find it? What is it? Hey, Pancake Studios, welcome! We've never seen you here on the stream before. Welcome, welcome. everybody! Give a big tricky lug welcome to Pancake Studios. Yay! Um, and uh, and yes, and Rob Hendricks is here. And just a reminder, by the way, that our lighting workshop that we did, where we talked about life lights, um, Rob Hendricks is um, like the king of life lights. Yep, and he's he, the sort of genius inventor proprietor. Yes, and so he has. Um, generously given everybody in uh, who watches the show a 15% discount on life lights that's good i believe until september 1st rob if that's wrong please correct me yeah um and you can, you use, can use it, it multiple more than times once. so he's unlocked a whole bunch of stuff for tricky lug and um you know oh it, and use the code tricky all caps yeah. and you have to be signed in for that to work yeah just okay? sign in that's the whole like just sign in it's easy um, and in addition to the stuff I showed where you can like put individual lights together, they have super simple light kits to get you going. And then um, I think they have individual like um, like lamp posts and just check it yeah. out. There's oh, a bunch of fun stuff Yes, he there. says September 1st unless you twist my arm. <laughs> 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 well, definitely sign in, create an account. Check out yep. the lights if you have any interest. Go back and check out our lighting your mocks. Um, and there's two different ones. There's one about lighting your mocks for photography and one for lighting your mocks like from the inside. Yeah, and the stuff, yeah. um, well, I mean, you can use the stuff from Life Lights for either of those, but especially lighting your mocks from the inside. Yes. Golly, there's so, stuff I didn't even talk about. Uh, let's see, here is, I think it might be time for. I think it um, is. Uh, is that it? Yes. yes. All right, it's time for this. <laughs> Sticker All set, right. show, and tell. And, and sticker set, show, and tell. And we have a mailed-in sticker set. And thank you yeah. to everybody who's been sending in Brickworm and Devo Bricks and yep. a couple of other people who've been sending in awesome uh, pictures of sticker sets for us to share. Um, we love that. So yeah. please, if you get a chance, um, take a picture of your favorite sticker uh, uh, sheet and send it to us, and we yep. will feature it on the show. And, you know, even if, if your favorite sticker is already stuck on a brick, you can show that, too. It's yeah. sticker set... 2.0. It's casual. Yep. And who sent us these again? This is from Debo Bricks. Debo Bricks. Thank you so much. This is a clear back 14 by 13 studs. He did great. Um, they did great uh, research on this. It's yes. from set 80010, the Demon Bull King. From the Monkey King, from the Monkey Kid sets. Yep, yep. Um, and it features exposed purple flesh areas you see there in three, <laughs> so four, creepy. and six, as well as rough-hewn metal bindings and plates. I this love is so cool. this sticker set. You know who would love this sticker set is Mark Crookshank. 
Oh yeah, Mark because he does be so much like all those um, mechs and stuff. He would yeah. be super into this. This is a great yeah, and they do sheet. those like apocalypse bunkers and all that too. And it looks like they um, it looks like the um, it's clear, right? Are they clear stickers? I believe. Uh, well, this says it's it's clear backed, so I think some right. of that space in between it's isn't all whited clear. out. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Very well, cool. Thanks for that. That's a great. Thank sticker. you to Debo Bricks for that awesome sticker set show and tell. So, golly, do we have any more? I'm trying to think if we have any more. I'm, like, looking around. I really lost the thread when all that happened at the beginning. Oh, my goodness. But I think that we are okay. I think are we? We're okay. Well, we have, we have a list of what everyone sent in. I see you. Do you need an extension cord for that uh, right I there? I think I'll be all right. Are you sure? Okay. Yes. I think. <laughs> yeah, let me get you an extension cord. Let me get an extension cord. So... Um, I have been doing cl some cleaning up of the studio a little bit and trying to gear up for my classes that I'm going to start teaching once my current job expires, which is going to be actually very soon, like a couple days after my birthday. <laughs> I think my birthday's on a Wednesday, and then my last day of work is a Friday. So um, that is going to be uh, it's going to be an interesting transition time, but I am looking forward to it. Oh yeah, this is I, this is one of my favorite. Uh, Muppets. This is one of my favorite mugs. And of course, it's go. got Statler and Waldorf, who are just <laughs> Richard and I in another, in puppet form, basically. <laughs> just imagine us with a with a red balcony in front of us. Oh, so um, there's Aquamite TV was mentioning the, the Monkey yeah. Kid Warrior mech, which, yes, we are doing a, right um, a subscriber there. drive, and right. so... We're trying to get uh, <laughs> the 2,000 subscribers, and uh-oh, someone's early. <laughs> you escaped. Come here, pal. It's not time yet. Come on. Um, now I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yes, we are giving away um, the Monkey King Warrior Mech model. Go on. Go see Daddy. Uh, we are giving away the, uh, the Monkey Kid Warrior Mech model as a giveaway when we hit 2,000 subscribers. Okay? So... Let your friends know. Anybody you think might enjoy the stream, have them come, and um, and like oh. it and and uh, and subscribe. All oh, right. When I when I get up, they can see our jumbles behind me. But Flynn put away a ton of bricks yesterday. Yes. Mm. So should we do the slideshow? I think it might be time for the okay. slideshow. So we had a um, so our challenge this week was a twenty-five piece challenge. Yep. So you had to build um, a 25-piece or less uh, mock. You got a base plate for free, yep. and your minifigures, which means legs, torso, head, and hair, and or hat. But not axes or bows right. or Right, was, was like, it was one piece. Now, I will say that a lot of people did turn in... Um, multiple photos on this one. They like they these turned in photos of like their stuff spread out, like the pieces that they used. Oh yeah, all which I actually out. think was like really, really was really really fun. That's cool. We're gonna have to count mine, but I'm right at 25. Hey, for anyone who doesn't know, Flynn, what's a mock? Um, uh, my own creation. So oh, yeah, I'm there's trying to find lots this. of anagrams and all in the Lego hobby. So while you set that up, should I share mine? Um, I'm just, I'm almost there. I'm just okay. getting, I'm just getting down to the, um, <laughs> I'm just trying to find the one email that has all of the Yeah, I the sent, I sent it. you an email, right? It'll be sure from did. me. Okay, I'm going to grab mine so I have it just ready. I'm at the edge of my 25 and it was countered in the sketchiest ways. Well, Moto, <laughs> I trust that you honor yes. the... The spirit of the challenge. The spirit of the challenge. All right. Oh, we Here do we have go, a everyone. A slight nose tweak. A slight. Wow. It's one of those it's days, not guys. That time. No, it's not. Okay. So a slight nose tweak, right? Just a tiny one. Please get your stuff in the night before, if you can. It's super stressful to get stuff in the morning, like a few minutes before the show. Yeah, we got one like an hour before it was yeah. due, and I'd already set everything up. We did get it in. Yeah, we want to show please, everyone's stuff. Yeah, please um, make sure and get those in um, on time. Already, this makes me so happy. Look at this. All what right, is that so crop top? This is, um, this is from ABC Bricks. Mm -hmm. And this is called 15-piece chair. 
<laughs> awesome. Well, I love the base plate for starters. The fact that we got a free base plate made me really think I tried all different crazy ones. Uh, yeah, I, I think this is really fun. I love the, the teeth, the like the teeth things for the arms. No, it wasn't hooded one. It wasn't hooded one. I'm not going to name any names, but somebody I, sent something at, at yep. this morning at 10 a.m. No, so, I, I mean 9 a.m. So you know who you are. <laughs> I only see 13 bricks here. Well, does the minifigure count? And this is there. Oh, there's a rotator. It looks oh, like underneath, rotator, right? To right. give it a okay, there we Hey, go. Hokey Bricks is here. Ahoy, hoy, Hokey Bricks. Good to see you. Oh, shaking the table. Yeah. <laughs> um so, so excited to say hey yeah so awesome and you know what i actually love this base plate that has all of the little swirlies on it i have this yeah. one as a matter of fact it was just sitting on the table like moments ago it's true um, and, and in my favorite color too yeah this is a, a lot of fun well thank you abc bricks uh okay moving. and now yeah oh we'll just this is in. great whoa this is great so this is from albert um, Albert says, this is the Space Police Tortuga Class Galactic Patroller. Wow. 24 bricks, including flight stand. Oh, that's Amazing. great. Amazing. Wow, it's got such a sinister front, almost like a Romulan warbird, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, well, I it's, can't figure out how they did that attachment in the front. I see the black gold bar, and I see that bracket underneath with the two posts. But I can't, I can't make out. There's some interesting stuff, maybe with a clip and bar going. Yeah, well, on there's the definitely front. like some snot work going on and some sideways build. But this is a genius little yeah. twenty-five piece build. And that like Bionicles it. piece is so um, just really iconic for it. It's yeah, the, the shape is great, and the and I love that the that the stand was included in the two pieces. Like that's just that's really great. So hooray! And very like cool. Like so much of what we see from Tricky Lug these days, a great photo too. Yeah, oh yeah, great photo. That's something that I learned early on. Flynn told me about this. Brothers Brick, when they look for pieces on the web, are also looking not only for a great build, but they want something with a clean good photo so they Yeah, really it's the rule. Isolate it. <laughs> that's what we have to that's what we have to look at. Okay. So, um, oh, the keyboard's working. Let's see. I know. Yay! Oh, this is so fun. Okay, so this is from, um, this is from wow. Amanda Mitchell. Glamour Clicky supervises baby play date at the park. <laughs> Glam babies and Velocibabies babies play on the merry-go-round. Snake baby does chin-ups on the trapeze. Ba Bunny baby skates and Princess Dragon baby prepares to descend the slide. <laughs> oh my goodness, Snake baby is killing me back there. Well, I love Glamour Clicky, and what makes Clicky Glamour Clicky is that she has like t she jewel has eyes. dots eyes, right? <laughs> From dots bracelets. And how easy is it to make a stand for Clicky? That's yeah. great. That's a two-piece stand in the grass for Clicky. That's really, that's really fun. And of course, I love that it's yeah. that it's taken outside is and a favorite. We have so many inside jokes in um, Tricky Lug, but for anyone who's new to the chat, Clicky um, is based on Clippy from Microsoft in, <laughs> in the nineties. These so are helpful. Are helpful. Where is our Clicky? Uh, oh, there's so many. I don't know. There's yeah, but he's he's our little helper, he and, and he's got two eyes. Yes. There you go. You'll see him again and again. Yeah, and actually, I was oh. on I was on Donnie's um, uh, Bricklink last night and noticed that he has a bunch of eye tiles. So I'm gonna be uh -oh. like all over. I'm gonna be all over that. <laughs> all right. So awesome. Thank you, Amanda. That's terrific. Yeah, New Master sixty nine. We've been seeing a lot of that part. Oh, that's okay. A... So this is Avernus Workshop, and it says this build is based on the Traveler series of sculptures by Bruno Catalano, a Sicilian artist, Whoa. born in Morocco and raised in France. These statues are fascinating ex um, explorations of balance and presence, with each carrying a suitcase that is their only means of support. So that's the only thing that's holding holding that up. That's crazy. Um, it's so surreal. So here is his version, and it says Catalano always felt that. He had left parts of himself behind during his travels, and I've tried to capture that feeling in Lego. The model is exactly 25 parts, not including the base plate, and there is a photo attached for reference. We saw the, the well, photo that's, reference. Well, that's just great. I love it. Like, the two different colored eyes, I think it captures that surreal quality, that kind of 
Magritte or Dali-esque quality yeah. um, of that work. It's a terrific, terrific homage. And thank you. You know, at any time you want to send like reference photos like that, yeah, we'll we absolutely them. do that. And I decided with this round that it's better to show the reference photo first and then the actual model. I had been doing it the other way around for whatever reason. Yeah, this is great. Um, I think it's so helpful. And look at what is that attachment? Oh, the attachment at the it's shoulder. Oh, oh, at yeah. At the yeah, shoulder the is one of those click hinges, yep. right? Click yep, yep, hinges yep. on a snot piece. Hey, the Brickmasters are here. Hi, welcome. How's it going? Everybody give them a big welcome. Uh, we are looking at the um, entries into our 25-piece build challenge, challenge, right? All right. Um, all right. Those click hinges are great for figures, too. Oh, and, uh, and he says, thanks, I forgot this, but this build is kind of robbed of its context. These statues are on busy streets, so the framing is important. I'll post more photos later. Yeah, well, we could see in your reference photo that image of the ocean and lighthouse behind it was so... That's what made it that yeah, kind I of thought it was, surrealistic painterly quality. I thought it was very... Yeah, I love it. I mean, it gives it even more... It looks like there's a green screen happening. Yeah, like, it's yeah. pretty cool. All right. Very nice. Thank you. Hey, well, Corey. Great example of abstraction in Lego. Always glad to see Corey Kinnick here. Okay, so Yay, this big is figs. Um, this is from Big Screen Bird, and Big Screen <laughs> Bird says this is Hulk taking a stroll in the park with his new mini ATST. Exactly twenty five pieces were used, and it was a great project challenge. Oh, I'm so glad! This is great. We've got some um, uh, we got some great yeah. pieces here. I am a huge fan of that. Is a piece that I don't have what, that, that I want tree trunk? so bad. Is, is that it tree trunk thing? Is it Scooby Doo, Harry Potter? I don't know what it is, but I want it. Yeah. I need to get one of those. And look at the red, the red bush in the That's background. Cool. I don't think I've ever seen that in red before. Well, I think the um, the green um, sort of cheese slope grill for the face of the ATST is really cool. The clip and bar treatments. I love the upside down cheese wedges on the lightsabers for feet. Yes, yeah, it's a it's a great little little tiny ATST yeah. build. So don't pick this model up and shake it around. Um, <laughs> but I love the corner presentation, right? Like the the angular plate on the bottom gives it so much more uh, uh, action in the wide angle shot. And of course, you know the Hulk is always great. Yay, big figs! <laughs> I used a big fig too. Yeah, this is super fun. Awesome. Thank you so much, Big Screen Bird. Uh, isn't it crazy how much different kinds of expression you can get out of 25 uh, pieces? So now we have another ATST. ATST. They're very popular, apparently. This is a big one. Yeah, so this is um, Brickfella, and this is a lone ATST walker patrolling the woods with a couple of stormtroopers. I love that the, that the trophy figures are being yeah. used... Um, in white as stormtroopers, right? Yeah, in white as the stormtroopers are great. And I, the um, we, we've got the... Um, the ball hinge on the leg, and yeah. the the um the, you can see the number five. Um, yeah, well you see th where they used a five and a six to have different angles of extension on the legs. Yeah, it's a this is a really this is really great. And I believe there's a couple of other shots. So there it is, yeah, like it's with almost the tree. like it's on Endor. Yeah, very very cool. It's yeah, great. Yeah, and the one leg raised. Like yes, that? that well it gives it action, right? Yeah. And it's all able, because it's so light, it's all able to stand on those mixel hinges, yeah. ball hinges. So much up. Lego work at, at this scale is about abstraction. Oh, and here's Yay, one of our first Nolan. ones where he showed a nulled image of all of the parts that, um, mm -hmm. that he used for this. This is so cool. Really nice. 24. Did I count 24 plus the base plate? Plus the base plate, so it's 25. Very good. I love that some people included the base plate. They were, even though they were given a free base plate, I, I use the free base plate personally. Um, all right, awesome. I Thank you so much. Nulling Brickfella. Brickfella I, that's, that's great. That's my job around here is I separate things. Okay, so this is from Brickanista. And my, Brickanista says, yes. My job should be a little bit more about putting them away too, but I love separating them. <laughs> um, so this is from Brickanista. And Rick Nisa says, it's Thanksgiving Day and Batman takes one last turkey leg down to the Batcave for a snack since crime fighters don't have the luxury of taking time off. While in the Batcave, um, he hears a sound from beneath the floor near his investigation board. So he says to himself, well, this is unexpected. 
Whoa! Then, out from beneath the floor pops out Super Sewer Baby, who says, Nobody expects Super Sewer Baby! N nobody! <laughs> I don't Get know if that's what his voice sounds like. Get that many fig chicks? Um, nobody expects. Um... Batman offers Super Sewer Baby the turkey leg, and the duo talk long into the night about their crime-fighting adventures. Batman has always wanted to raise a baby of his own and decides to adopt him. Both are grateful, and today was a, it was truly a very happy Thanksgiving day. That's wonderful. I love a mechanic, too. Yeah, and so and I love it that this is um, like the origin story, yep. right? This is the... <laughs> of their relationship. <laughs> well, and, and in this piece, the Technic bricks add all those circles on the front that I think add detail to the Batcave. You know, for being so few bricks, um, to have that raised enclosure and the mechanics is pretty impressive. Well, and I, and I have to say, um, too, uh, Brickinista, Naomi is so wonderful and as an actor i appreciate that she like sends notes along like i was instructed on how to say the super sewer baby nobody expects super sewer baby oh there line. were there were i hope i did it right <laughs> line readings well i tried to do it monty python but with a superhero yeah. <laughs> i mentioned mini fig chick because she did a great um little mock no one nobody expects the spanish inquisition yes well yeah that was the yes. oh yeah jmw music Oh, Monica Berry, your um, your husband just ordered you your own sewer and star babies. Yay. Awesome, they are so great. I love the star babies too. Um, I'm, I know I need to I need to get my butt in gear with um with super creepy baby because like he needs to oh, no. yeah he needs to have a thing happen. Okay, so believe it or not, we are this next one. And this is um, this is from Brickaroo Bonsai, who is funny enough continuing the story. Whoa! This is called Brickaroo Bonsai: The Tricky Lug Adventures. <laughs> Whoa! Check out that that like kind of watercolor treatment to it. Oh, and there we get Nulling. a picture. So there's a picture of all of the um, the parts. Right. Lots mm -hmm. of dark tan there. I'm not going to count them all, but that looks like 25 to me. So after receiving a message from Super Sewer Baby, Brickaroo Bonsai <laughs> jumps in his adventure roadster and travels across the wastelands of Bricktopia in search of a mysterious war warrior believed to be a long-lost Super Baby. Will Brickaroo Bonsai find the warrior baby? Will Super Sewer Baby get a diaper change before getting a severe <laughs> rash? Will the Super Baby Justice League get their diaper genie repaired before being overrun with soiled diapers? Find out on the next episode of Brickaroo Bonsai, The Tricky Lug Adventures. P.S. The chicken's name is Arthur Cluckington III. Of course it is. <laughs> wow, check out his like aviator cap and goggles for going in his vintage vehicle. Look at that, a beautiful working car in 25 pieces with like a red <coughs> engine. Sorry, I'm still just like dying over Arthur Cluckington the Third, which yeah. is absolutely all animals should be named ridiculous names like that, right? Well, yeah. do, our our um, dog before Logan was Lilith J. Barkington, yes, right? Yes, it's true. She's Lady Lilith J. J. Barkington. Barkington. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so yes awesome this is great brickaroo bonds i love it um and i love the tricky lug adventures it makes me really happy <laughs> yeah and i want to go where this car is i want to go take a walk there. i want to go where this car is uh-oh i am uh, i see that it is that certain is time it of the already day. oh I'm my afraid goodness so. gracious i'm afraid so all right, everybody, we will return to the slideshow in just a second, but right now it is... Hi, pal. Hey, there he Everyone's is. It's favorite. Logan. Look. Good boy. See, he's not even looking at us. He knows where those cookies are, right? They're right by the camera. Good boy. <laughs> Okay, can you catch this one? He oh, always it good catches boy. it. Oh, he didn't catch the one I tried to give him because I was a terrible throw. It was yeah, completely my fault. Yeah, if he misses, it's usually... Yay, me. Logan cookie time! Fourth one. He's trying to, he's trying to create a routine <laughs> where he gets a fourth cookie. Uh, yeah, see how it is. All right, so let's get back to that slideshow, shall we? Oh, yeah. Okay. So this I, was I like these I... combo shots like this are great. Yeah. Um, okay, that's not good. Oh, that's because that's the wrong thing. 
I'm it's like, the wall. My seeing pictures of uh, of um, music. Okay, here we go. So we're up to Next brickworm, up, right? We have brickworm. I love this one so much. I'm just gonna say right off the bat, I Look love this one so much. Look how chunky this little boat is. Um, so it's, uh, this is Super Sound Baby, week four. It's time to get off this island. The animal villagers tell me about a traveling art dealer who occasionally drops by in a rickety boat. Um, photo three is the knolling to show um, how a five by nine by six inch mop consists of only 25 parts. Oh, is that look? That's a Duplo brick there. Right? Yeah. So if you if you play um, if you play Animal Crossing, you will recognize this as Red the the fox. Um, this is Red's um, art dealing boat. <laughs> no, on. but Red is kind of a scam artist, right? Right. Like because he, he has... sells fake art about half the time. I have to say though, some of the fakes are almost better than the real thing. Like there's some really, there's some really. I think like yeah. one. I think like the statue of David. Like there's one of them that's holding a briefcase. Or something there's like always really something dumb. wrong. <laughs> but really weird. <laughs> I love the Duplo in this. I think using those, um, those look like they're click hinge. Is it a click hinge the old school hinge uh super sound baby is on yeah. to go upside down for the gangplank i think is really smart clips are a great way to go upside down this is um this is so much this is, i mean yeah, this is and so that, fun i love it the printed piece with the brick wall there is cool the yeah brick wall detail. and of course the fox minifigure which yay we <laughs> this is fantastic i always want the fox minifigure and the chicken uh, minifigure to have adventures. And there's those oh, 25 parts. Look, there's a there's a red Duplo brick there, too. Wow, very nice. I love these. I love the, the pictures of people's knowing yeah. of their parts. It's so, so cool. Oh, my goodness. Red, <laughs> JMW Music, Red, I'd like to, I need to file a complaint. This Logan Cookie Time mosaic is fake. <laughs> it is fake, because there was only one, and we have it. And um, so if you see if you see this for sale anywhere, unless it's from Cornado, right it is there. not authentic. <laughs> it's on its own. Um, it's it's on a little tripod back here. All right. Okay. So next up is Chris Chalice. Ooh, Chris, the there lighting. is how he how he took his photograph. And this is now. Oh darn it all, Chris! I put the wrong photo. I meant to put your. Um, I meant to put your. Uh, your photo of of the bridge that this is, and I'm so sorry that people are gonna have to go check it out. But well, welcome we can put to the name of it. Right? Welcome to Scotland, everyone, and one uh, and one of the greatest engineering marvels of the 1800s, the fourth railway bridge not far from Edinburgh. I have interest in uh, in the bridge as I as I did submit a version of the bridge to Ideas using separator parts. Very cool, very cool. Whoa, so this is out. the fourth railway bridge so let me see you know what i'm gonna see if i can get a picture of this up on uh on the interwebs on chrome right there and i'm so sorry um chris that that happened whoa so is this minifig uh, does this minifig come with that cloth kilt that's cool um and, no and... that's a it's not a cloth kilt that's a um that's a bagpipe it's a plastic pl a plaid plastic bagpipe oh with a handle but maybe he's also wearing a kilt i wouldn't be surprised um, yeah, and you know what? I if I try and mm, you I, Sassanac. <laughs> if I try and do this, uh, unfortunately, it's going to make my hotkeys go crazy because I still haven't figured that out. So, can someone put the name of the bridge in the chat? How do we spell? Yes, F O R T H fourth fourth bridge. Anyway, but Look getting at this back micro to this, build is great. Um, it's a really, it's a really, really great little micro build. I love the, um, the guy and I'm going to look it up over here. You keep okay. talking. Well, I got to say the pyramid is one of my favorite pieces here. And I love whenever we can do force perspective. I mean, it's kind of like a super close for force perspective, um, with the figure in the foreground and this micro micro bridge behind it. It's pretty cool, and oh, see there. Oh, you I found it. I did, but I don't know whether I'll be able to show it or not. That's a whole. That's a whole nother. That's like a whole nother thing. So anyway, if you need to look it up, it is the fourth bridge. F O R T H. Yeah. Fourth it, bridge. It looks fourth like railway this. bridge. Thank you, Chris. I'm it so sorry like... that I didn't put up the um, that photo. There was a lot of photos to go through this morning, and um, yeah. yeah. So well, it looks apologies. like the bridge it's supposed to look like. It's great. It's so cute. 
Yeah, it's a great it's a great little bridge, and I'm yeah. actually like looking at the picture right now, and it is absolutely that. <laughs> yeah, and I love this um, double inverse slope piece, right? That does that have three studs on the top of it? Yeah, this red mm -hmm. double inverse. Yep, cool. Very cool. Very cool, Chris. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, it's a really great engineering marvel. I wish I would have known that about the um, during our bridge challenge. <laughs> All right. So let's keep on going here. This is a beautiful one. I love this one. So this is from Citrus Bricks. Um, with exactly 25 pieces, including the stand, I made a jellyfish for my entry to the challenge. I tried to use parts that I haven't, uh, haven't really used before, like the parasol piece and the leaf pieces. I also attempted mm. to illustrate the jellyfish elegantly floating in water. Well, putting it on that antenna is a great way to do that. Yeah, this wow. is beautiful. I yeah, absolutely yeah. love this. It's a great little jellyfish, and I'm, I'm a big fan of those pink umbrella pieces. There's um, there's a place we went to dinner years ago that had all these amazing blown glass pieces, almost like Dale Chihuly, but they were all... It's called crustacean, right? And they have all these glass sea animals, and that's what this reminds me of. It's so lovely. Yeah, it's really, it's really, really beautiful. Thank you, Citrus Bricks. This is awesome um and on that clean white background it's just luminous too uh oh, oh. Is, whoa okay this is from um wait is this not right oh yes okay um here we find super sleepy baby out buying provisions for the rest of the super baby justice league she is in her exactly oh. 25 piece humanoid mech because grocery <laughs> shopping babies are uncommon in any part of the multiverse <laughs> Normally, the hands detach and give way to mounted machine guns in their place. But not today. They just carry the groceries. <laughs> I didn't see... I didn't see the baby there for the longest time. There they are. This is great. I love it. This is so funny. Super baby mech. Look at that little teensy <laughs> face. Yeah, and if you can't see, the, like right in the center of the chest is where the baby... Um, where the baby's head is. This is hilarious, super sleepy Cornado. baby. Oh, super sleepy <laughs> baby. Whoa. Cornado, you're always amazing and hilarious. Here's so, another another exercise in abstraction, but not even so very abstract. Yeah, so this is from um, Crafty Sirius, and um, this is an avocado mosaic, exactly 25 pieces plus the build plate. Yay, even with a rounded pit. Yes, I love it. This is great. And I and I just, I love these colors together. It just yeah. looks nice together. It's just a, a nice little... This is like art you'd have in your kitchen. I was just going to say that. It would be like the, th like the thing that you would yeah. hang on your on your wall, like a I, trivet. With I this want a trivet great. with that design. <laughs> this is great. All right. Uh, Although a Lego trivet... Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. So this is um, Debo Bricks. 24-piece Clickenstein's monster in back-to-school <laughs> mode. <laughs> that rock piece or teeth, whatever it is that's his hair is great. Yeah, it's really good. And I love those ang those creepy eye tiles from the Hidden Side sets. I'm a big yeah. fan. Those are really great. And the pencil sharpener is brilliant. Yeah, like, so smart. It really, really fun. I what love the pencil. Even Oh, those are those are not windows. They're br they're clear brackets, right? They're yes, like those it's two panels. clear brackets touching each other with the, and that that white piece for the top is the one that helps hold. You know those boats that have the weird little like ball. It's almost like a ball hinge, but it's just a big mast on a ball that sticks in it. It's like oh, a yeah. windsurfing thing. It's kind of like that, but that's really really cool. What's the cylinder of the pencil? Like the red part. Is that a plastic tube? I don't recognize What's that? that piece. The red part of the pencil. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not sure. I can't tell if those are... It doesn't look like it's multiple pieces. It looks like a... Yeah, no, I mean, it does look like one Mini piece. Mini Fig Chick. I don't know. Is sure. it coral barrels? Oh, axle connectors. Of course. Well, you know, it's just that you can't... I can't, I can't see, see the, the divisions, um, the between, divisions them. between them. Yeah, exactly right. Those are great. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Hooray! All right, this is from No Surprise Fabu Fan MKE with a wonderful Fabuland. Oh, haha, ha. Fabu Fan MKE. I used the green 
um, watering can that you sent us in my piece yeah. as well. So that's so awesome. Why don't we have these flowers? We, I don't know we why we don't have those orange. And... Yes, those big orange daisy flowers are amazing. Yeah. Um, this is, uh, I, well, of course I love this is in Super the garden. Fun. Actually, it's so funny. We have very, we had a very similar thought. Um, Fabby <laughs> fan and KE, we had a very similar thought. Um, oh, they're clickets. That's what it is. Oh yeah. See, we never, we, we came oh, way is after that, that. Is, is, are clickets kind of a proto dots? Yeah. Yeah. We are yes, actually, and you know who who helped create them was Matthew Ashton. Really? Yes. We need some clickets. Absolutely. We're gonna go get those. This is great, and yeah, it totally makes me think of Animal Crossing and the you know the watering where you go like this and water all the flowers. And the then they time. sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Rob Hendricks likes it. Me too. Awesome. Thank you, Fabby Fan MKE. I love this. Okay, it took me a second to figure it out. But this is from Gwyneth, and it's called Cinderella's Bad Day Fishing, 22 pieces. So <laughs> at first I thought she was pulling seaweed out, and then I realized that it's actually um, the Ariel's Mermaid Tale. <laughs> <laughs> so she's gone fishing over the, yeah, and, and I love the... Over the ice, The right? sideways window with the open things like the yeah. hole to go fishing in. <laughs> so and of great. course she has a translucent fishing rod. Nice ice fishing rod. It's very, very funny. Lovely. Yeah, darker than it looks, exactly. It's so like, <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry, Ariel. Yeah, this is a really this is a really fun build, and I love the um the Cinderella mini doll. And you know what? Holly just sent me a picture last night of the new Sleeping Beauty Disney Princess set that's coming out. It's amazing, and it's an absolute must-have. There is a bluebird, there is a deer, like a, a, a baby deer, there is a rabbit, there is a, a mini doll Maleficent, Ooh. which in my personal opinion is the like the best Maleficent Lego figure that exists. Flynn, yes. I'm very sorry. I have to step away and answer an urgent message. All right. So I'm sorry. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, the raven. It's a... It's, and so his name is Nicodemus, by the way, the Raven. But it's a, it's the funny sort of like friends style, <laughs> friends style Raven. It's pretty great. All right, let's see. Um, I couldn't find any mini doll heads with surprise. Yeah, there's not. There's like I was saying, I I searched out a bunch of different ones, and really the only there's not many deviations from the smiley face. So there is. A couple of the DC superhero girl villains that have an angry face. There's two of them. And then I know Elsa has like the... Where is she? Oh, this is the wrong side. There she is. Elsa has the kind of like smirky grin and Anna has an open mouth. But generally, um, yeah, they are similar. This is great, Gwyneth. Super fun, and I used a lot of these same pieces in my Cinderella Mac, which I still have together and I need to photograph. My goodness. Um, okay, let's see. So. Bye, Rob. Thanks so much for stopping by. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This is one of my very, no, this is my very absolute favorite mini doll. And until I get the Maleficent one, of course. But this is my absolute favorite. It's so funny and so ridiculous, and I love that crystal hairpiece. The the blue glitter crystal hairpiece actually like comes off, and you can use it for other stuff, which is so great. Um, yeah, and those geodes came from the last round of city space sets, and they're really really cool. So this is from Hooded One. Uh, Hooded One says, before joining the Super Baby Justice League, Super Snowflake Baby had an encounter with Count Moto. <laughs> Um, at first he was afraid of the count, but it turned out that the count was really, uh, was only interested in sparkly rocks. Although they don't go searching for sparkly rocks anymore, Super Snowflake Baby is still proud. He can call the count a friend. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is just, this is so super fun. I love the trees in the background. Um, the flower, I love the snake, like all of those little things just really um, add lots of great detail. And the the jewels and the um, those geodes, of course, are amazing. Amazing. 
Yes, I need a cereal brand called Count Moto. I totally do. We need this, and it needs to be like crystal-shaped cereal. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Um, let's go. Um, yeah, I know. I really do need to do something with Super Creepy Baby. I really, really do. Um, all right. So, th oh, wow. This one's beautiful. So this is from, um, Andrew and Peter Hornberger. This is the spotted, the spotted lanternfly is an invasive plant hopper that is causing major issues where we live in Pennsylvania. This insect has no known predators and is negatively impacting our landscape and way of life. Andrew created a lanternfly squad on his elementary playground, and during the fall, he and his friends are on a mission to rid our area of this invasive species. The lanternfly has a four-stage life cycle, including egg, early nymph, late nymph, and adult. For Andrew's build, he used 24 bricks to show the egg and nymph stages. Peter used 23 bricks to show the lanternfly in its adult form. We are trying to do our part to keep this invasive species from spreading to other parts of the United States. This is awesome. I love the three different builds. I love that it has a story. And, and yeah, Albert Lee says, yes, and we got an entomology lesson. Absolutely. I didn't know. I didn't know any of this. This is, um, it's an awesome lesson. It sounds like a terrifying insect. And it's actually really beautiful. And um, that's a bummer that it's causing so much problems. But I 100% support your um your work in trying to rid us of this horrifying bug <laughs> as blathers would probably say if you play animal crossing um so yeah this is um this is incredible i love i love this so much i love the plates and the three different forms and the little tiny um and the fact that you used the the amount of plates between the two the first and the second two is genius so awesome thank you so much this is great um, okay, so this is from Julia Hornberger. Um, while sorting our random Lego bricks by color this week, I was drawn to the plant life peeking out of the greens and the different shapes and textures that surfaced in the browns, resulting in a tree. The eagle soars in as brick number 25 for this build. You know, we're so lucky that we have these big giant bricks that we can include right, to become thing, and it's such a great... Because the one eagle that I have is the one from the Lord of the Rings set. It's actually three pieces, and so I ended up not using it. Um, but this is great. I love it. I love the creative use of pieces for the tree trunk. I love the sea... You know, I'm always a big fan of the seaweed hanging down, um, like uh, Spanish moss. And then, of course... The eagle is wonderful, and I love the um, where you chose to take the picture, and also, can I come use your pool? <laughs> I, I really want, I really need, I could really use to go and be in water. This is great, Julia. Thank you so much. Hornburgers always love your submissions and love that um, the whole family builds together. That's just um, really makes us happy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear um let's see so this is from jmw music this is called revenge on white mountain have you ever wondered how lord sam sinister lost his hand just as captain ahab lost his mind chasing the white whale that took his leg sinister has gone mad trying to get revenge on the white mountain that took his hand six pieces not including the base plate this was a good chance to break out the burps and lerps to get maximum scale out of minimum parts i love it jmw music this is so great and i love that um the perspective that you get from from taking the photo from above <laughs> and just the hand sitting and it looks like you were able to fit the hand inside the hole of the technic brick right this is great um Oh, and so what? In, in case you didn't know what burps and lerps are, um, those are what we call these big pieces. They're called big ugly rock pieces and little ugly rock pieces. So lerps and burps. Um, it's, yes, and he has the dynamite, of course, because that's like his. It's like his calling card. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Oh, and then here we have another view, even further up. This is great. Oh, Shane. Shane, very ice build. Oh, Shane, ice, ice baby. Oh goodness. Okay, well, that backdrop is great. So this is from John Latrell. Um, this represents my first mock. Awesome. Never even tried to do one of these. 
and uh, that said, I know I'm not <laughs> the best and you're going to show. I don't have a ton of bricks laying around, but it represents a fallen hero, Dale Earnhardt, the NASCAR driver. John, this is great, and you should never, ever feel bad about showing your, your work um, here in the chat. This is the whole reason that we do this, is so that everybody can share their work. Everybody is on different levels. There's no judgment. This is great. And the fact that you actually did your first ever mock to include in here is, I think, terrific. And you should be really, um, you should be really happy. It's very brave. It is hard to put yourself out there and put your stuff out there for people to see. Um, I, as we know from <laughs> the young Lego masters, it takes, you know, it takes a lot to put yourself out there. So thank you, John, for doing this. And I think it's, uh, it's great and you should be super happy. And I'm going to go ahead, if you don't mind, I'm going to pull in a little bit here so that we can see a little bit better. I love the, um, the heart and the, the lettering and this great little, uh, printed tile right here. And then the, I liked, of course, that you used the, um, the actual picture of the guy that's awesome john thank you so much terrific i'm gonna shrink this back down a little bit and so we can get uh yeah i hope i didn't give anybody make anybody seasick <laughs> okay very good thank you so much so happy um yeah that we were able to to be here and for your the Reveal of your first ever mock. That's amazing. Okay, there we go. So, moving along. Ah, uh, okay. So, this one has a couple of photos. Sorry for all the moving around there, folks. All right. Uh, this one has a couple of photos. This is from Ken Martin. Classic space guy crashed on a rocky planet and was only able to find 24 pieces to make a new spaceship. <laughs> So it's got, so here we got a couple of views, a couple of nice views of the ship. Very cool. <laughs> I love it. And it's, I, I, of course, I love the symmetry. This is really great. It does look like a, it does look like a set. It's really good. Yes. And I love the outside um, that you've taken the, your, your mock and done it outside. I think that's really fun. Um, I think that's all I love. Um, stuff in uh, like photos taken outside in nature i think it's really fun really great and i love the story okay this is from christopher coster um okay let's see here here we go this is from christopher coster um the adventures of super sewer baby continue wow we are this is we are going there today <laughs> Oh no, a large brick separator scorpion has crawled out of the cracks of the Oakland sewers to attack its citizens. But not to worry, <clears throat> Super Sewer Baby comes to the rescue to fight off the scorpion with its poison cyan tongue. Check out that vintage gray tail. <laughs> um, also, Bluey has come, to talk, has come to the rescue of SSB as no task is too small by biting off the tail. Um, Super Sewer Baby has a new companion, Blue Blue the Cat. Oh, Blue Blue the Cat. <laughs> so there we go. I love the scorpion. I love that you made it out of brick separators. It's so great. And there's the cat. <laughs> Blue Blue the Cat is amazing. And, the, and of course, the picture on the rug is great. And once again, the great outside photo. Okay. And there we go. There are the 25 pieces used to make the scorpion and the bonus cat. We won't count that as a piece. <laughs> All right. Very, very nice. This is so much fun. I am loving this one. This is a great, um, I mean, this challenge in general is a great challenge. So this is from Yano. Um, Yano says, Sid finally got the 22nd piece for his hand in the box. Perhaps a relative of Ms. Thing. Um, plus Sid, his toolbox, and Dog Scud make 25 pieces. This was already in progress as seen a couple weeks ago, but I was also waiting on a BrickLink order and thought the finished creation was too good not to return to. Uh, thank you for the inspiration to play more with my photography. You are welcome, Yano, and thank you for doing the great lighting again. Um, really, really great. I, um, I know that you did this in the um, with the light coming from your um 
computer. And you can see, if you look here, you can see the um, how that box was put together. It's a brilliant little uh, build there with snot pieces and um, and I love the springy bit with the hand. Really great, really great. I know Yano's not here right now, but nicely done. <laughs> this is really, really a lot of fun. And again, the lighting and the the photography on this one is great. Okay. Okay. This next one is from MC Rat, and MC Rat says, this is a 21-piece chair, another chair. This is really great. I love the propeller for the legs, and I love the little arm. I think it looks like it's guns, actually, using for the arms of the chair. And I love that it's not just a plain square chair, but you sort of, like, did the top of it with the little peak point like that. I think it's really great. Really, really nice. It's a great design. Really nice little backdrop. Very cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is from Miss Ta uh, Miss Tapcat, and if you were, if you saw our uh, our Patreon appreciation show on Sunday, you met Cat and saw some of her amazing artwork behind her. Um, and this is a tiny recreation of the infamous Monokuma. The sight of his creepy smile and red eye sends chills down your spine. Poo hoo 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 hoo. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what poo hoo hoo is, but I love the. <laughs> I love your rendition of him with his like scary lightning eyeball, and I love that he's kind of like half. Now I have to figure out this. What this is? Trigger happy havoc. I need to know what this is now. <laughs> this is really great. Oh, who, who's Korean for laughter? Okay, thank you. I wasn't sure what, <laughs> and I hope I said it correctly. But this is, uh, this is wonderful. I, see, I love when people can take things from, uh, from pop culture and then sort of like redo them in their own style. And this is really fantastic. And you can even see the creepy smile and the red lightning um, eye. So great. And thank you so much, Ms. Tapcat, for, for joining in and, and adding. I know you haven't done a lot of stuff in the past, but this is great that you are like joining in and being able to put stuff in. All right. Okay, so this is from Monica Berry. And this is, um, she said, I just had to try my hand at a tensegrity build. Here's Benny's buddy, Lenny, atop his floating space scooter, shooting some alien baddies with his laser gun. Pew, pew. Um, 24 pieces, not counting the base plate. And I have a couple of different looks of this. So there's sort of like from a, from the front side, and there's from the side. Super fun. Yeah, that tensegrity thing has been uh, very popular. It was like it was like a big thing. I never really tried it, but maybe I'll have to do that. But pretty cool. I love. Well, I love a good tensegrity build. It's always it's kind of like mind boggling. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Very good. Okay. I'm sorry. I was looking at something. Yeah, there was. There's a mix-up in the numbering. Uh, I haven't gone back to all the old issues. This is sorry. This is answering new master. Yeah, this is. Um, th there was a, a point at which I realized we were off on the numbering, so I started the numbering, but I haven't gone back and redone all the numbers for the old ones. So there we go. All right. Very good. Thank you very much, Monica. Yes, and we did get it, by the way. Oh, this one's great. This is from Moto. This comes in at 25 when I remove the tile from the opposite side of the top, counting the figure body <laughs> The figure body as one part. I spent two hours just trying to use every horrible connection to make this gecko-like lizard. Green was a tough color. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. You know what? This is, I just I love this. It's so simple and perfect, and I yeah, it's really great. And I love, again, out in nature. It makes such a great... And that's really... That's starting to give me some ideas. It's starting to give me some ideas. Um, all right. Let's see. This is... Um, it's just so cool. And I love the tail piece and the little head. And that looks like his... I think that's a Chima head, right? Like the, like the alligator Chima guy? <laughs> this is... Um, the, yeah, it's... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the Chima alligator dude. Very, very cool. Um, I have to make sure that Richard sees this because he loves the the Chima. <laughs> All right, so this is from Mr. Elmo Man, 
and this is monkey and banana. See, I love these the simple names like you get on the um, like you would see if you went to an art museum. <laughs> Mr. Elmo Man, monkey and banana. I love it. This is so fun. It's so cute. The banana is great, and he's got his and he's got his own banana and a giant banana. <laughs> it's super fun, and I love the little monkey. It's such a great little, and I like that you used the the tan snot piece in the center so it gives him the like the different color fur like on his stomach um it's a really fun little a really fun little build that's so fun mr elmo man we always love uh seeing your thing and i love that you thought to do the banana with the black ends you know like the black ends on it this is banana for scale <laughs> exactly <laughs> this is this is super fun awesome thank you mr elmo man Okay, this is from this is from Orange Bricks, and Orange Bricks says, um, "22 Bricks. This is my clicky riding a scooter with a mustache for the 25 Brick Challenge." Um, the title says it all, but one thing: the thing on his head is a top hat. Ah, very good. This is this is this is like classy clicky. He's got a mustache and a top hat. He just needs a monocle. Um, this clicky likes racing with the big boys, so we can see he's on his scooter, and he is uh, in, on the starting line with the rest of it. And there is Mr. There is Fancy Clicky on his own. <laughs> Very good. This is really yeah. This is really fun. Classy Clicky. Yeah, I think so. I think it's a great name for him. And he, and I love that. Um, his mustache is the is like wrenches <laughs> sticking out. <laughs> he is very distinguished, right? Like he, he needs a monocle. I wonder how you could make a monocle. I maybe could do one with like a um, uh, like a magnifying glass attached to a chain. <laughs> I don't know. That could be a monocle. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much, Orange Bricks. Okay. So this one is our. This is one's from our good friends. Paint Pusher and Minifig Chick. And this is Young Paint Pusher and Minifig Chick playing on Imagination Island. 23 parts plus two minifigs and face plate. Very, very nice. I love it. I love it. This is so cute. And you know, we love that Vitruvian man. That's what we have for Richard's uh, sig fig. And the little car and truck are great. And of course, I'm a huge fan of that base plate. I love those old school base plates with the little... Um, with the colors on them. I think they were so cool. I wish they still did those. Um, yeah, and look, there's a little, there's a little doggles. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, thank you for pointing that out, Alyssa. I just saw the dog. I was like, oh, wait, yes, there's a dog in the background. Yes, and it's really, it's a really fun little build. Lots of great colors. And of course, I love thinking about them as youngsters. <laughs> it makes me very happy. All right. Let's see, we have got, this is from um, R.A.K. Bricks. This is called Vigilantes of the Night. <laughs> I love it. I, I think this is hilarious. I love the, um, that the, the minifigure's like tied up on the, on the top. It makes me think of the Batman video games where you like, you can like tie, you tie people up to the, the little um, lights and stuff. The light post, the trash can, the piece of pizza, and then the um, the sewer, which makes me think that this is a sort of there's a uh, teenage mutant ninja turtles thing going on here. Although I have to say um, that if it was teenage mutant ninja turtles, I wonder if they would have actually left that piece of pizza behind. But you never know. But yes, I think this is um, I think this is absolutely a wonderful little piece and great use of parts. Um, especially, I love all the parts that you used to make the light pole. It's really great. Um, yeah, it is a very, it's got a very um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles vibe. All right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. This is from the Zaccardis. This is Lana. Lana did a baby elephant habitat with 23 pieces and also drew her own jungle backdrop. Lana's mom feels this looks like a mini build right from a friend's or a real friend set. I agree. It absolutely does look like it's from a friend set. I love that you made your that you drew your own background, Lana. I think that is so cool. And I and what a little what a perfect little combination. I love these like mixed media pieces um, that people do. And this is just so much fun and the little backdrop and the little leaves. And of course that pink baby elephant is just about the cutest thing ever. 
uh, really fun, and I love your little your like little enclosure. It's so good. Oh yeah, and there's a little water coming from the elephant's trunk. Oh, this is adorable, and I would expect nothing less from Lana because she always does amazingly cute things. So. Really, really, yeah, this would make a great poly bag, right? Like, I would buy this poly bag 100% in a hot minute. I think this is really great. All right, so this next one is, this is from um, Vanessa, uh, and she did her own bird creation. Uh, 13 pieces. We are in the, um, the middle of a family mock of a zoo, and both this bird and Lana's elephant will now be added in. Oh, that's great. I'm glad that you can baby um, a corpor uh, that you can incorporate the stuff that you're making here into your own builds and vice versa. I just think that's so that's so much fun. You know, this is this could totally be um, this and this one could totally be one of those ones like you build from the from the pick a brick wall, right? This is a great lots of uh, lots of ideas, Lego. If you're watching, there's lots of ideas here for, for you for poly bags. All right, um, let's see. And next we have this is Rob Zaccardi. This is Rob's. Um, uh, this is Rocky Balboa running up the steps of the art museum in Philadelphia at exactly 25 pieces. Good thing. We had a limit, or else I would have had to build many, many more steps for the real art museum. It's true, but we can, we totally get it, and this is great. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so wonderful. Oh, is um, Brickenese is leaving. Bye, Naomi. We'll see you later. Um. Uh, yeah, this is great. I love it. I love the steps. I love the arch. I love the limited color palette. Because what I love about this limited co color palette is it really makes the, the Rocky figure, like, pop, right? I can almost hear that music now <laughs> in my head. Dun, 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 dun. Very good. Um, excellent. All right. Okay, this is from Shane LeVan, and this is called Logan Acting Shady. <laughs> If you count the two plates I used, this should be exactly 25 bricks. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love, of course, the, the medium Azure. I like the log backdrop. And I love that you used those Lego uh, phallus pieces, the seaweed, as the branches of your tree. Such a great use of parts. Um, and especially since it has those... Um, uh, it has the upward-facing holes, and also you, it's got a pin in the bottom that you can pin it down, so really really great great colors and great fun and i always love logan as chihuahua <laughs> it's great <laughs> nice work shane i I'm, you know i gotta say shane does so much uh, uh is so great and does so much help around here and i'm always i'm so happy he always tries really hard to do these builds even if he doesn't have a whole lot of time so Nice work. I know everybody does. We all put a lot of work into these, so this is really fun. Nice, Shane. Thank you so much. All right. Oh, this is, I think this is great. And this is, there's like layers upon layers upon layers of this. All right. So this is from Steve Parmley. And this is a bonsai Monterey cypress tree using exactly 25 parts. So the fact that this is a bonsai tree and it seems very calming and mellow and the picture is beautiful, just the plain white background with the tree, um, it seems, it's very calming. I feel calm just looking at this. Yeah, there you go. There's another poly bag for you right there. It's just, it's, it's, it's perfect. Um, and we can see all the pieces that he used. Oh my goodness, I just realized um, that you use that crazy piece that I was showing to my students the other day, the one that points up that has the, the little the like triangle sticking out of it. I'm gonna put this back again, and you can see that it was used in that middle part. What a beautiful, beautiful shape, and I love, uh, wow. I have never known how to use that piece. Thank you, Steve, for using this piece in a really amazing way that I would have never thought of, because I've always looked at that piece and I'm like, what the heck even is this? Like, I don't even know how to use this. Yeah, it, I would totally buy this too. And actually, you know, um, there's the pieces. I bet you if you wrote down those pieces or like took a picture of the screen, you could probably figure out how to do it, right? You could probably figure out how to do it on your own. Very cool. Yay, nice. All right. 
This is from the Lego Vet. This is Rahi. Rahi are the fauna of the Bionicle world. Inspired by both elephants and Bionicle, this is not the right thing, I don't think. This is. Um, uh, this creature roams the great lands of uh, Mata Nui in ancient times, traveling through hundreds of miles every day. This is only a baby and will grow up to be bigger one day. Bionicle was the first theme I collected. It is near and dear. It has a near and dear place to my heart. Oh, the Lego vet. This is great. I love all the little Bionicle pieces and the, the pieces that you use for the tusks, for the elephant. It's just such a great little abstract, and yet you can completely tell exactly what it is. Really, really, really cool. And sorry about that mix-up in the things there. That, that, um, this is the Lego vet, not the last one. We will get back to that last one. Um, yeah, it's a great expressive little build using really interesting parts. Um, and it's like, yeah, the space elephant. <laughs> it's really, really fun. Thank you, the Lego vet. And this last one, this is from the Mowgli. So apologize, apologies for that before. This is Mars Exosuit. I was retyping the storyline to this build over and over, but at the end of the day, I just wanted to build an exosuit that rocks. After the first one, I built many, many more, addicted to exosuits with great story potential, but no fulfilled destinies yet. 25 pieces exactly for this. Um, this is great. What a fun little power suit. <laughs> Uh, hey, Bricky's Club, welcome! Yeah, we started a little bit late today, so we're going, you know, we're going to be plugging along here. Really great use of pieces. Oh, and look, on the bottom of the legs there is one of those funny little brackets that fits over a stud. It's got like a hole that fits over the stud, and then it hangs a stud over the front. Kind of like a regular snot bracket, but different. You usually use them on minifigures to put things... Um, on their backs and we did there was a couple of these used in the Scooby-Doo Mystery Mansion uh, to create some decoration so this is this is really cool I love the use of the printed tile um, the gun the little um, the little uh, wrench claws like little robot arms it's really 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 fun I love this awesome uh, um, let's see next up Okay, this is WGJL Productions. 25 pieces to make up Minas Tirith. The great Minas Tirith from Lord of the Rings. King Aragorn rules Minas Tirith. Is it Tirith? 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 Even though he is not there at the moment. <laughs> Very nice. That's awesome. And we can see the picture of it. And we can also see the parts that they use to put this together. Very nice. Very nice. There it is together. And there it is apart. Very nice. Venus Tirith. All right. So this next one is from Wilfred. Uh, Wilfred says, my current work in process is a Fabulam bat cave. I already built a Batmobile, a bat boat, and most of the bat cave Wayne's Manor. My Fabuland heroes are not Batman and Robin, but Batfred and Albin. <laughs> the Fabuland birds, crow and parrot, look a lot like Alfred the butler. It felt inappropriate to call them Batman and Robin. Totally. Uh, I love this little Fabuland. Yeah, the chassis is great. All of the purple and, the, and lavender pieces. And you can see, I love that there is an arrow that tells us where Batgirl goes, because you need to know where she is. And I love the little bat on the front. This, yeah, I can't wait to see this Fabuland Bat Cave. And Wilfred, when you finish it, you have to send photos. Please do send photos because we definitely uh, want to see that. Oh my goodness, this is great. So much fun. All right, let's see. Okay, this is from Xander. Um, Xander C. Bob has been captured by Mr. Skeleton and put in a futuristic holding cell. How will he escape? <laughs> This is great. I love the use of the rounded piece, and I love the symmetry here, right? Um, nice little pieces of symmetry, the little yellow things pointing in the background that kind of look like maybe they're oxygen tanks. Um, I may be interpreting this wrong. I'm just interpreting it my own way. Um, you've got the, the skeleton there, and, and of course, we love to um, see the continuation of the adventures of Bob, um, who we've, I think, now had three different stories of Bob. Um, the, there was the whole there was the whole pizza thing, 
And uh, now he's been captured by a skeleton. <laughs> Super fun. Wow, everybody. I think that wraps it up. Can you believe that? That was all of them. This is amazing, amazing builds. And I apologize again. If we missed anybody, you can always email me and let me know. And we will try and show them on uh, on Monday. Um, but it is with with this many, it was amazing. There was so, there were so many great builds to everybody. So thank you all so much. Um, so yeah, let's see. We have um, we have our builds. Our builds. I'm gonna grab mine. Mine is sort of like sneaking in the sneaking in the back. Let me see. So I threatened to do. Um, to use Belleville, and what I ended up using was Belleville and, um, let's see. Oh, Maraid, I'm so sorry. What, um, I know we saw you. When did you send it? Again, there was a lot of, um, oh, wait a minute. The fun fact is that Flynn usually reads my not made to read email, but not the title of the model, which is always in bold. I did set it up today. I'm so sorry. Let me see if I can um, I can look that up. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry. I you sent it last night, Maraid. Let me take a look um, and see if I can find it. Did you send it through the um, Did you send it in the um, through email or did you send it through the Google form? So I'm I'm not sure which one. Um, anyway, Maraid. We will make sure that we show it on Monday. I apologize. Um, it was, we were just trying to get a lot done in a short amount of time. Um, okay, so this is, um, here's my build. And this is 25 pieces. And I did include her skirt and hat as pieces. And I took one, um, I took one of the, um, anyway, here we go. So here is my, 25, 25 piece build using Fabuland, Friends, Belleville, and some Scooby Doo pieces. So this, um, I and again, this is like I was saying to um, uh, Fabu Fan MKE, we kind of had a similar idea um, to do the garden thing. So I'm super fun. Uh, I'm super excited about this build. I had a lot of fun putting it together, and. Um, just yeah, and I love this. This is such a super fun part, right? And um, and I did so I I did use the one free base plate, but the one on the other side I counted. I counted the wheel of the wheelbarrow and her skirt and hat. I also counted as pieces, and it came in right at twenty five pieces. And I had to include the little friend's cat in there, right? And I was actually really happy. I was like. I couldn't find something like I wanted to build a tree. I was going to build a tree and I was like, "Oh, I just don't have the I just don't have the pieces for it." And then I remembered I had one cypress tree. I was like, "Oh, wait, I have that one tree and it's like the perfect size." So, yeah, that's my little <laughs> there's my little 25-piece mashup build. <laughs> yeah, those raised plates are awesome. Oh, and you know what I found the other day, speaking of weird parts? I'm going to see if I can find it. Okay. So, <laughs> there is this weird there's this weird part I was looking at it it's like this pink thing and I was like and because I I did a whole bunch I don't know if you saw my post on Instagram but I did a whole bunch of sorting yesterday of colored bricks and I'm gonna see if I can find it real quick I'm still here everyone even though I'm not on camera hopefully you can hear me <laughs> and back so I've got my um, I've got my uh, dark pink pieces here. Now some of you might know what this is, but I found this yesterday, and I tried I tried to get Richard to let me put it on his desk and keep it there. And I was actually wanted to try to figure out how to use this in my challenge because I thought it was a really good. But yes, this is a baby potty. It is a baby potty from um sorry not belleville but what was the <laughs> what was the other one what was the other one holly you know what it was called i can't remember what the line is thanks rob thank you so much and lana and vanessa for sending in awesome stuff scala yes please 
So it is, it's, um, it's Scala Baby Pie. Um, you know, now I know you say it's Belleville, but when I looked it up online, it said Scala. So I don't know. It probably used both. But yes, it is, in fact, a baby potty. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe. But yeah, look at that. I got my whole box of dark pink stuff now. I have a whole, bo uh, a whole box of um, light pink and a whole box of um, uh, purple and lavender Oh my good, it's so it's gonna be so much fun. Um, it came with one of your Belleville sets. I don't know. So what came first, Scala or Belleville? Because you know how it is. Like they use these pieces. Because I believe that um, that is yeah a Fabuland piece, but I know they've used it in some other things I've seen before. So anyway, now I know we I have Richard's build here, but I know he's gonna want to show that to you himself. So maybe oh no, Pinky in the drain. No, no Shane. No. No. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm What's sorry. Up? I'm in a meeting. I have to be in right now. Now, do you want me to show your piece? You can show okay. it, but you have to put the minifigure right in the camera. I and will. I hope you all love it. <laughs> okay, so um, here is here's Richard's piece. And, of course, it's, it's mechanized. Um, and let's see. So here it is. I will try to get it in focus. Um. There we go. And, oh no, I'm all turned around. There we go. So he has this um, this big troll character chasing the guy in the front. And he mechanized it all so that the little guy runs when you turn the, I mean, the big guy is running when you turn this one. <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is such a great piece. I love it. He did a really, um, he did a really great job on it. And you can see um, all of his little gears. And he did exactly 25 pieces. <clears throat> he said he was going to use Sandy um, originally, but he thought I wouldn't want him to use it. Um, but I don't mind. And actually, I think this is sort of a funnier, this is funnier anyway. <laughs> You know, Holly, no, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, the big figure is from the, um, it, there was like a, uh, like a trolls versus dwarves set uh, of ones that came out with Castle. Um, and uh, they were uh, really cool. We have two of them and in, in kind of like different colors. So Hey, Stubot, how's it going? <laughs> a runaway success. Uh-oh, somebody's getting in on the puns. <laughs> um, yes, the black raised plate is all one piece. It is, in fact, all one piece. All right. Very cool. Yeah, and they used to make these, like, all the time. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, very cool. Ah, yeah, so there we go. We got through we got through all of that. We had a little bit of a rocky start, but we got through all of the um, the slides. Amazing, and I'm, I'm so sorry, Maraid, and we will be sure to show your piece on Monday. Absolutely. Um, oh, oh, the new challenge, the new challenge. Um, so this, this well-thought-out and formulated challenge uh, that we are going to do was actually inspired by some things that I saw today. And now we've focused a lot on build, you know, build challenges. And so this is going to be kind of more of an artsy photography style challenge. I want you to build a mock that will, that can be photographed out in nature. Okay. So we want to see what you can come up with photographed out in nature. We saw a bunch of things, and it would be great if you incorporated the nature into your build somehow. So either like your minifigure is climbing up an actual rock to a mountain, or maybe it's breaking rocks or anything like that. I'm not going to give you a piece count. Um, you probably don't need to use a base plate. And if you want an idea of what I'm talking about, you saw some of the stuff that was photographed out in nature today. Um, and I'm going to show you real quick... 
Now I know we've, um, we've looked at these before, but I still want to give you a little bit of an idea of what I'm thinking, what, of sort of like where our thinking is on this. And where can I find them? They are on my Instagram. Let's see. And why am I not finding them anywhere? I don't know. Um, let's see. I'm going to go, I'm going to try to go over to the web here. So here is our Instagram. And I'm just going to scroll through. Pardon me for going through really quickly, but I'm trying to find a particular set of photos. Here they are. So here is a photo that I took, uh, that actually the two of us will take out in nature, okay? And this was our, um, can I just take an existing mock and put it in the wild? I mean, you could, but it would be better if you built something specifically for the challenge, um, for, for sure. But, um, but you can see here how we incorporated nature into our photo. Like we had the, we had a little leaf on the ground, they're out in nature with their umbrella, having their little outside. Um, so I think that'll be fun. It should be easy. Um, shouldn't be too hard to go outside and, and take some photos. And what's great about doing this outside is you're going to get really great lighting, right? You're going to get really great. Or maybe if you're lucky enough that it's raining where you are, you might be able to get some kind of like sweet outside photo with... Um, with rain in it or something. So here is, um, whoops, nope, that's not what I was going for. Here's another one. And again, I, we incorporated nature, right? We just like put the, the door up against the tree so it looked like it was it's coming out of the tree. Um, the, the little pig is raking up leaves and we put real leaves and stuff in his little wheelbarrow. Um, <clears throat> so I'm hoping this is something that y'all will have fun doing. Um, Yes. Does a house plant count? Absolutely. As long as it's some kind of nature thing. Yeah. I mean, I've seen really brilliant things done in, um, in, in plants and stuff like that. I mean, I totally understand. And when I say nature, it doesn't mean it has to be trees and stuff. I just mean like outside. Okay. Um, something like that. So let's see. And I think we've got, um, here we go. Yeah, and again, it doesn't have to be, and it could be outside on your balcony, outside your front door, whatever. Maybe your minifigure's trying to reach the doorknob. I don't know. This just sounds like me talking to my classes. I'm not sure, kids. Um, and again, here, we, 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 as long as it's like incorporated, like just a minifigure in front of a, a real life door isn't saying a lot. But a minifigure climbing a rope to get to a doorknob, that's a story. So just sort of like incorporate, um, into real okay and you know what maybe saying nature isn't the right word i should be using the real world okay so mini figures or models in the real world and then you want to incorporate the real world into your photograph somehow and also um you should definitely um think this time about taking a really good photo this is one of the points of this. I wanna like, we, we're really good at the build challenges, but now I wanna challenge you to take a really great photo and see what kind of, what kind of thing that you can get, okay? So let's see, and then I'm gonna give you one more example of, um, oh yeah, so, and then there was this other one that we did, this little rabbit one where um, she's watering that flower. And actually that flower um, was from another place it had fallen off a tree and I just sort of like propped it up in the, and we, we sprinkled the leaves around. I mean, these are, these are natural, but they're also, there's a lot of like, we set up a lot of stuff on this. All right. Um, so yeah, like I said, let's just do, it's going to like the mini figures in the real world challenge. That's what we're going to, that's what we're going to call it. So take your mini figures or your mock or whatever, incorporate it into a real world situation where we're, where your mini figure is interacting with new stuff. Um, Wilfred, no, we do not actually have a lot of Fabuland. This was, I think I've mentioned this before, um, we went to um, our friend's place and when they bought their house, it came with a box of Fabuland figures and um, the furniture and everything. And the first time we ever went up there, um, I built them something, uh, a mock with those two little monkeys, which is now they keep it as a part of the decoration of their house. 
And then we were there, and I was like, oh, I would love to just, like, let's do a photo shoot while we're here. We were there for, like, four days out in, out in the pretty nature. And we went and took the figures out. And they said, you know, you can absolutely, um, uh, you, should, you guys should just take these. You should take them. And we said, no, you know, these, these came with the house. They belong with the house. They should be here for people to enjoy and for us to enjoy, like going to Grandma's house. Eventually, we will get our own Fabuland. <laughs> but, um, but for now, this is, uh, this is the closest we can get. Um, so, okay, let's see, uh, uh, where have I gone? Oh, here we go, I'm so mixed up. So, <laughs> so anyway, that is what it should be. It should be your uh, minifigs in the real world. It can be any minifigure you want, it can be a, a figure that you make or whatever, but just some kind of story that, story that incorporates Lego into the real world, all right? Um, can we mix in other toys? Hey, I said it's the real world, so you can do whatever you want. This is kind of a free-for-all. And again, it's like a, the focus should be not only incorporating your story into the real world, but trying to, to, trying to see the best picture that you can take. All right? <laughs> sewer, super sewer baby in an actual sewer. Oh, poor Brickinista. I'm not going to, I'm not going to force that on her. <laughs> can you imagine? Um, full melee rules it's true um anyway so i hope that um i hope that you all enjoyed the slideshow today i thought it was incredible and i'm sorry that um that richard couldn't be uh couldn't be here longer i know it's always so it's always so imbalanced and weird when he's not here so I hope that you all enjoyed it, and I'm so glad that we got to, to do that all together. Don't forget, everybody, that this Sunday is our 100th episode, and we are going to be doing a bunch of different stuff. There's going to be a Super Sewer Baby Timeline slideshow. There's going to be prize giveaways. There's going to be special guests. There's going to be all kinds of stuff going on. Hey, Mini Fig Nick, how's it going? Um, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, incorporating other toys with Lego Mock? Absolutely. How long is the 100th episode? I have no idea. It'll be probably two hours. It usually is an hour and a half to two hours. Um, so I think it's going to be a really fun Sunday. Uh, and also, don't forget that we are doing our 2,000 subscriber drive. When we hit 2,000 subscribers, we are going to give away that Monkey King. Oh, you look, you can see it. I don't even have to go get it. That Monkey King Warrior Mech sitting right over there could be yours when we reach 2,000 subscribers. So please like tell, let people know, see if we can get some uh, subscribers coming in. That'd be awesome. And we really, really appreciate it. A um, hundred hours. <laughs> um, I think it's gonna be a fun Sunday though. So don't forget that you can find us on Instagram at Tricky Bricks. If you want to uh, email us, you can do that at Flynn at TrickyBricks.com. Uh, you know, the, hopefully you know the rules by now about turning in your uh, pieces for the challenges. They're due next Thursday at 5 p.m. Um, you can email them to Flynn at TrickyBricks.com or if you look later today or tomorrow up on our community tab, you will find a, um, a link to a Google form that will allow you to upload your, um, your photos and your information, which is actually really, really helpful for us. Um, and also wanted to say, oh, okay, this is a little note for everybody. And if you, if there's something that you could do um, to help us out for the slideshow, it would be really, really helpful. So everybody's doing a really great job of labeling their photographs. But what happens is um, when, it, when, we, when it comes in, people are just sort of appending their names onto the end of the string of like QL11FWQRDD1 and then the person's name. So if what you could do, if possible, I know not everybody can do this and it's totally okay, but if possible, if you could please just call your image your name, and when I say your name, I mean the name that you want us to say. So um, let's just, like, like as an example, um, if, it's, uh, if it's Kara, instead of putting Kara on it, she would just call it minifig chick. So it would just be minifig chick, Dot .jpg or png or gif or whatever it is that you're using but just the name your display name that you want to be read and your um and whatever the file is that would be super helpful for us because what happens is we try to put everything into alphabetical order and especially today when we had like 42 images I was going through and editing every name of every file which ends up taking a while 
So just a little something to do that if you could help us, we would totally appreciate it. If you can't or you can't figure it out, we totally understand. Please don't let that discourage you from sending anything in. We are happy to do the work. Um, we just are trying to streamline things just a little bit. So um, we really, really appreciate that. Um, so golly, what will, um, I, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, if you want to send us stickers uh, for um, Sticker Times Show and Tell, you can email those photographs again, Flynn at trickybricks.com. All right. And uh, if you want to send us something through snail mail, like I said, we have four packages at the P.O. Box right now. I'm so excited. That's like a week's worth of viewer mail that we get to do. That is um, Flynn and Richard, P.O. Box 11517, Oakland, California, 94611. Um, thanks, everybody. I'm so proud of all the work that everybody's done and the, and the effort and the photographs and uh, writing the stories. And it's all just really great. And it's what I think makes um tricky lugs so special um i and i uh, and again i apologize um uh that we um uh what am i saying i apologize that we had some some issues sometimes with the slides but it really it's it's quite a thing putting that slide show together um uh wgjl productions if you built something and want to send it in uh but it has nothing to do with your challenge that's totally fine we love showing um all of our all of people's work um and we oh and also too a new feature that we want to start doing is featuring different people's um a different viewers instagrams now i know we follow some of you on instagram um sometimes it's hard to see like um who all is is what but if you want to start emailing in your instagram links to us at the email address we um could start making a little list and we're going to start featuring at least once or twice a week uh, work by some of our viewers um, that's outside of just the regular challenges and we'd love to be able to to share that with all of you so everybody thank you so much for joining us today and i know um richard gives a hearty farewell as well um and until we see you on sunday on our 100th episode at 10 a.m uh please don't forget to be stay be safe be healthy wash your hands wear your mask and we will see you sunday at 10 a.m. All right. Uh, bye, everyone.